In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make beautiful printouts of your Airtable data so you can have copies of it in the real world. This is really easy and I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. All you need to do is first make sure you have all of your Airtable data configured the way you want it to in this view so that when you print it out, it looks the exact same way. That means making sure you have first the fields that you want to see visible in your printout selected. I'm going to hide all first and then select a couple of them to print out. Next thing you want to do is make sure you have filtered down your data so that only the data you want to see in the printout is shown. Uh, let's see, I'm going to only show data where employee count is any of these. You can also do groupings. I like to uh, do groupings in order to organize your data and collect it a little bit in a little bit more uh, digestible fashion. So I'm going to group by employees and you can also do things like sort. So let's go ahead and just sort these by the company name so that they're in alphabetical order. OK, when everything looks good the way you want it to look, all you're going to do is go up to the view, click on the view itself, click print view. And then you're going to have this dialog box where you can select the particular configuration that you want for your printout. So most of the time, you're probably going to use letter page unless you uh, specifically need something uh, with a different dimension. I like to use landscape for data uh, with a lot of fields or that is probably going to span a lot of um, space because it's going to allow you just more horizontal space, more like a spreadsheet kind of view that you have inside of your table itself. Field sizing is going to allow you to uh, change the size of the fields based on how they actually are in your Airtable or based on how uh, what makes most sense to fit to the page with. I'm going to do actual size. For font size, it's usually better to do a little something a little bit smaller if you're going to have a lot of data to print out. So I'm going to use small. And then you want to choose whether or not to use the view name as the title of the printout. So I typically leave this on. In terms of row numbers, including the, them in the printout, that's probably fine for me. But if you don't like to see the row numbers on the left, you can go ahead and exclude those. And the final option is to wrap long text onto multiple lines. So if you have a long text field or if you have a field that just spans the uh, width of or exceeds the width of the cell itself um, for that field's width, then this is going to allow you to wrap it onto another line or whether or not to just um, truncate that text inside of your printout. I'm going to leave it on because I want to see all the information that I'm printing out, not just um, what fits in the view. So then you're going to click print and your system dialog is going to our system print dialog is going to show up. So um, I'm sure you know how to use this. I'm going to go ahead and open this in preview so you guys can see what it actually looks like when you print it out. And then it's going to look something like this. So when you print it out, obviously it's not going to be sideways, but I'm going to go ahead and rotate them so that you can see them on the screen. And as you can see, it's going to give you all of the data that you had inside of your Airtable base printed out in the grouped and sorted manner that uh, you chose in your configuration. So that is how to make beautiful printouts of your Airtable data. Stay tuned for the next video.